Okay guys, as you can see today, we're gonna to be talking about constant rate of change. So at the top of page 21, write constant rate of change. So, first we're gonna start off with some vocabulary words. The first one is linear relationships. Okay, in a li linear relationship is a relationship that has a straight line graph. The other vocab we're, we're, we're going to talk about is constant rate of change. And so a constant rate of change is the rate of change between any two points in a linear relationship. I'm going to give you a second to copy both of those down. Okay, so most of the time when we're trying to find our constant rate of change, we're going to be given a table. So here in our table, we want to find the differences between our X's and our Y's. So right here, I'm going to put somewhat of an arrow going from here to here. That's going to be plus one. From here to here, that's going to be plus one. From here to here, that's going to be plus one. Then I'm going to go to my Y side, and I'm going to do the same thing. So now I'm going to look at this, and my equation that I'm going to use, or my formula for my constant rate of change is rise over run. Rise is my y coordinates because the y axis goes up and down, and run is my x coordinates because the x uh, axis goes left and right. So if I put my y over my x over here, I have my 9 over the change, which is 1, which can reduce to 9. And nine is my constant rate of change. For my second example, I'm giving this table here. My x's are 15, 30, 45, and 60, and my y's are 2, 4, 5, and 6. So I'm going to find the change in my x's and the change in my y's. So from 15 to 30, I add 15. From 30 to 45, I add 15. And from 45 to 60, I add 15. Now I'm going to look at my y's. From 2 to 4, I add, four, add 2. From 4 to 5, I add 1. From 5 to 6, I add 1. <coughs> now, notice what I'm doing here. I looked at all of these, so I wrote all of them out. So now when I come over here, I'm going to go 2 to 15. 
that can't reduce, so I'm going to leave it like that. These two over here have the same numbers, 1 to 15. So I'm going to write this one down too. So if the change from here is 2 to 15, and the constant rate of change from here is 1 to 15, or the change from here is 1 to 15, are these the same? No. So for this table here, there is no constant rate of change. So that's what I will put on that answer is no constant rate of change. Okay, so here's a practice problem that I want you guys to solve. So if you can solve this, which I mean, I know you can, but solve this and send your answer, whatever the constant rate of change may be, to Mr. Cohen's and myself. All right, thank you, good luck.